Hey everyone, it's Frank, your business blogger here. Today I'm going to talk about Adobe Premiere Rush, which is a video editing tool that I'm using right now to edit my videos. And um, it's possible that you've heard of other apps such as um, Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. And those are two other very good tools, um, but I think that they're a little bit more complex and they're geared towards uh, professionals. Um, now, I'm not a professional when it comes to video editing. I like to be able to do things um, with very minimal, I would say, changes. And, um, and I find that Adobe Premiere Rush really provides me all the tools that I need to be able to get that going. Okay, so we're going to look at Adobe Premiere Rush right now um, from my computer and then you'll be able to get an idea of what some of those features I use are um, and then hopefully encourage you to look into it if that is um, if video editing is one of the things that you're trying to get going for your business. Okay, so as you can see here, this is uh, my projects area for Adobe Premiere Rush. One of the things that I like about Adobe Premiere Rush is that since it is connected to the Creative Cloud um, and since Adobe Premiere Rush has an iPhone application, I'm able to easily record a video with my iPhone and then edit it on my iPhone or start editing it on my iPhone and then finish editing it on my computer. I think that's very effective and very useful for me. And, um, and yeah, I mean, the Creative Cloud makes everything possible, um, especially with this app. Okay, so let's click on this video right here. This is one of the videos that I did recently um, for LinkedIn where I talked about overcoming the fear of recording yourself, um, which I know that um, is a fear that a lot of people have. Okay, but as you can see here at the bottom, you'll notice that the video is a little bit long um, and that's because I recorded it with my phone and um, it's not square um, originally. Um, but with the features that we have here within the application, we're able to change the orientation. And right now I have it as a square. If I have it as a portrait, it's exactly how I would have it um, when I record with the phone in portrait mode or landscape if I were to want it in landscape perhaps for YouTube, okay? Um, so let's go over this really quick. Uh, I'm gonna just leave it right here. Um, part of this is, um, and this right here on this right-hand side, you'll see the main tools. And if you've used other video editing platforms, you'll see that there's going to be a lot more tools um, for you to use. Um, but I like this condensed view um, because it gives me the essentials. It gives me exactly what I need. And uh, the first things first, it's, um, it allows me to edit some text for the videos. Um, and as you can see here, I already have a few saved um, templates that I like to follow. One of those um, templates that I have is this one right here, which I'm gonna drag. And as you can see, I'm gonna go over this. Uh, I'm able to easily just add here, um, hello, promoting other brands. Um, I'm able to move the text around um and that's just one of the templates that i have but then you're also able to just add text um in any way that you want right and that's one of the things that i really like about this it makes adding text extremely easy then the next thing is uh, transitions so i'm going to go to the very end because i always add a transition and i want i don't think i added one here but you're able to easily add transitions with this transitions um, area right here and one of the transitions that i like to do use is the dip to black um, especially when I um, um, want to share this video on YouTube because that's where I'll have it go from video to black and then at the very end when it's black I'll have the little buttons for, to, for people to watch my other videos and I like that look. So as you can see here I'm going to play this right here and it just ends like that bam right. There's no dip to black um, but I'm going to add it right here at the very end and then we're going to see it dip to black. And um, that's the effect that you'll be able to have. And you, then you can add more videos. Maybe you want to transition from one clip to another. Um, and I think that this platform makes it extremely easy to be able to um, add those transitions. Then the next thing that we can look at is the color. Um, there are built-in presets here to be able to edit color. Um, generally, that I don't do a lot with color. Um, yeah, this here. I don't do a lot with these presets. I essentially just like to use this little editing option here to increase the exposure or to um, um, reduce the contrast. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll play around with the shadows a bit sometimes. Um, but it makes it 
easy for you to be able to edit the color just a little bit. Um, and if you have some presets that you like to use, you're able to use those. Um, I don't use them too much because I like to have my video as as simple as possible, right? I like to be able to just spend maybe 15 to 30 minutes editing a video. Okay. Then the next section right here is the speed. Uh, right now, the video is normal speed, but I'm able to easily just, uh, let's say, clip this part and then just increase the speed of this video. Let's increase it by 255%. So it's gonna go from like something like this and it's gonna go a lot quicker and now, there you go, All right? So super easy to do with um, this app. Um, let me see right here. And then um, another important one is the audio, which I use uh, all the time. I don't know if I use it on this because I was kind of trying to just uh, show people that it's very easy to just being able to record with your phone. And that's what I did with, with my phone. Right now I'm using a, a small microphone up here, um, but easy enough, you're able to use a, 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 this little box right here to reduce the background noise and it does help out tremendously. Um, so that's something that you're able to use if you want to reduce the background noise. And if you wanna increase the volume, you can do that. If you want to then also add some background music, you're able to upload that piece of music into this video and then drop down the volume. So you could hear yourself talking and you could um, just hear the background noise slightly. Um, and I find that very um, useful, especially for some of my YouTube videos. These LinkedIn videos are a little bit more, I would say, um, unedited. I just, you know, maybe add um, the beginning images right here. But other than that, I don't do too much to the, those videos. And then you're able to um, just um, just edit the, the orientation of this video a bit. Um, really, I don't I don't make any edits with that, but you're able to do that. I think um, if you're going to edit videos for like um, Instagram or YouTube, then this feature right here to change the sequence orientation is going to help you out tremendously. Um, this is probably one of the two, um, features I use most, especially when I'm editing for YouTube, um, because I want, JK, for editing for LinkedIn, because I want these videos to be nice and square for my LinkedIn feed. And, um, and that's pretty much it. And then to be able to, to export the video is extremely easy. Um, essentially, I will just click on share. I will be able to, I don't use any of these features, but you're able to have them, um, you know, connect to your YouTube, Facebook, Instagram accounts. Um, but what I do here is I'll give it a name. I'll give it test one, just so I know to remove it later. And then um, I'll save it to not this particular file. I already have something here where I want these videos to go to. I will take them to final videos. I'll just choose it here, so I'll save it there. This video is going to be about 265 megabytes, which is okay. I'm gonna save it as automatic. I'm gonna save it as 1080. You also have some presets here if you want it for YouTube or Facebook, um, you're able to use that. Um, and then it's as simple as just clicking export and then the video is going to export. Um, and then if you were to, were to have changed the orientation to landscape, for example, for YouTube, you know, you would easily have a video ready for you for uh, for YouTube. All right, so that's all I have on Adobe Premiere Rush. Again, I use this platform because I find it not to be complex enough that it takes me forever to figure out. Um, it has all the essentials I need to be able to create a video that is both edited, so it's a little nice and refined, um, but that I'm also able to do on the go um, and very quickly. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And um, I hope that it empowers you to be able to start creating video content for your personal brand or business. And if you would like to stay on top of all of my other upcoming business related videos, make sure to give my channel a subscribe. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll see you on the next one, right? Thanks. And uh, again, this is Frank, your business vlogger, and I'm out.